Alright guys, so I just finished 3D printing this absolutely awesome RC speed tank and this Ultra RC video is going to be all about this thing so let's crack right into it. Alright, so I just gave this thing a quick test drive in the hallway. It's so cool, it sounds absolutely awesome and I can't wait to take it outside and show you what it can do. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to give you a brief overview about what this thing's all about. So basically, I printed it on my Anet A8 3D printer. I downloaded the files for this off Thingiverse. Another guy designed these tracks which have sort of a groove shape which looks way cooler in my opinion, so I printed all those tracks off. There's 82 of them, 41 on each side, and I joined them together with this 3mm filament. Now you're supposed to use bolts, um, 3mm bolts that go through there, but I didn't have any of those, so I just used this. Now talking about bolts that I didn't have, I actually used a coat hanger. Because these bolts here, they're supposed to be 4mm by 65mm, and I didn't have any of those, and I forgot to order them. So I was pretty keen to get this built last night, and I found out this coat hanger fits perfectly. So I got the um, nut, threaded it along the coat hanger, which gave it a groove, and then you can just thread it in. Now the 3D printed piece on this side has a groove, groove for the nut to slit into and then the bolt can just thread in and screw these two pieces together which holds the wheels together. But I think that's pretty funny that I used a coat hanger instead of the bolts. With these wheels here, you can see I didn't print with the top and the bottom surface so you can see the infill on the inside which I think is pretty cool. I had to print 10 of them which took a long time. Originally I was going to use laser cut wheels out of 3mm acrylic. Laser cut them all and then glue them all together. Now I did do that for all of them, you can see here, but these are too narrow. You can see they need to be quite a lot wider. So I'd have to restart and that, these actually cost quite a lot, 3mm acrylic. Though it was a lot quicker and I've done it now so never mind about 3mm acrylic laser cutting. Because these wheels are such a simple design, like they're just a few discs, it, makes sense to laser cut them because you can just go that's what I did with the wheels what else is going on here well basically I have this LED bar from my SEX 10 so that's pretty awesome and the other major thing which I haven't mentioned yet is the FPV system on here so I'll just turn this remote on and you can see that we've got pan and tilt So we've got a three position switch which moves it a little bit left and a little bit right and then I've got um, rudder is, is moving all the way around so I can look all the way behind me and obviously we've got the little FPV camera there, little VTX on the back and we've got one servo for going forwards and backwards so you can look right up at the sky if someone's... I don't, I don't really use the, um, the tilt thing very much but the pan's very useful when you get stuck and whatnot. So, yeah, probably, it probably doesn't need to be that high, but we'll have, have, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll have to see what it can do. So it's got two 3-cell 2200 LiPo batteries in the back there, powering the two brushed ESCs with the two 20-turn brush motors. So this thing's going to be pretty fast, with 20-turn brush motors going... They've just got a little pinion going straight into this wheel here. And that's going to be going pretty fast. So... I've heard that you're supposed to use like 35 turns on this, and that's still really fast. So we'll see. I'll have to be really gentle on the throttle and not go full, otherwise, or at least quickly, because it's the acceleration that's going to kill that little 3D printed pinion gear. But hopefully it lasts pretty good. It's going to be awesome anyway. Let's go take it outside. I'll show you what it can do. But, um, yeah, if you've got any more questions about this thing, because I feel like that was pretty brief, I don't, but I don't know what else to say. So if you want to know anything about, else about this, there'll be links in the description if you want to find that. Same with the parts, you can find the parts list in the description, so you can find it on the page of the guy who designed this. But I think this thing's absolutely awesome, let's take it outside and I'll show you what it can do.
Alright, so you just saw the maiden drive of this awesome remote controlled tank. Now, basically, I'm going to take the FPV thing off because the FPV does not work at all. Um, it's super, super bumpy. You, you have a good view, but it's super bumpy, so you have to stop to actually really see where you are. And it's too fast for an FPV system like this. So I'm going to take that off. Um, and the tilting thing, you don't really use that at all unless someone's looking at you and you can like look up, look up at them. But besides that, you don't really need that at all. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put a 3D printed seat there. And as far as the coat hanger bolts, they lasted. None of them stripped out or anything, so they're working really well. Um, the only thing that did break was the pinion gear, little plastic pinion. The teeth didn't strip, but the um, grub screw that held it onto the motor stripped. So the motor was just spinning inside it. So I can either drill another one and put a new grub screw on the other side, or I can just 3D print a whole new one, which I've, I'm doing currently. And this is the spare as well. So I'll put that on, then I can drive this thing around a bit more. But a wrap for this awesome ultra rc video last night i 3d printed the motor piece and the outside piece again so this side's way stronger now and i've been testing it all day today but these white tracks and some of the black ones are just breaking off like you saw in the video so that's a bit unfortunate and i found on thingiverse designs for much better tracks so you can see the original ones are a lot narrower and these ones are going to be way way awesomer i'm going to print them off and there'll be more videos on this in the future, but um, I just couldn't get above half throttle. If I went above half throttle, the track would just break and it would just come off, which was disappointing. But you can see that the potential of this thing is absolutely awesome. I've seen these things and they can flip over when they get upside down and they look, they're gonna go super, super fast. If I can just make it a bit more reliable, um, now I did leave a big clue in this Ultra RC video about what the next awesome project is, and it's not this or anything, but there's another big clue in the video somewhere, if you can find it out, let me know, I'm interested to hear if you saw it, but um, anyway, stay tuned, subscribe to the next awesome Ultra RC video, because it's going to be absolutely awesome, but um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, I'm interested to hear what you think about this thing, but um, thanks for watching this awesome Ultra RC video, and I'll see you around later.